Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm in a really awkward position today, sitting on my floor, <laughs> so that I can give you guys some tips on how to pack everything up for a sewing retreat. So I'm going to adjust the camera angle now so you can see what's in front of me and we'll get right started. Okay, so first up, I took a nod from all of like the makeup artists out there and decided that I was going to pack everything in a rolling suitcase. I thought that would be the easiest way to, first of all, make sure I don't take too much, but second of all, get everything in a very compact yet safe way of traveling um, from my home to, I guess we're only going on a road trip that's like an hour long, but if you're going on an extended long uh, road trip or even on an airplane, this would be a great way to pack all of your sewing essentials. So you guys have heard me talk about these sewing bins. This is how I keep all of my works in progress. I cut out the pattern, put everything in there fabric wise, all the pattern pieces, the pattern itself. And then I also throw in if I need serger thread, um, obviously my regular thread, and I put in any interfacing that I'm going to need to cut out as well. However, this is a little like weird and bulky to pack in a suitcase. So what I've done is I've transferred everything into just a plastic grocery bag. I mean, obviously you could be like really cute with it all and put it in like a gallon Ziploc bag or some other kind of plastic bag, but I don't have any of those. So um, I just use these and it's just as well. And remember at the end of your retreat, you're not gonna have all this fabric left over. You're gonna have an actual garment. So I also wanted to make sure I brought something that was just um, disposable and I could throw it away at the end and only keep the, like the thread and other things that I had left over um, and then pack up my garment that I've made like I would. So I've already got um, two of these packed up in this side over here. Um, and I have still this one to go, so I'll pack that one up in a second. But I wanted to talk to you guys also about this little goodie box here. So in here is really all of the notions and extra doodads that I'm gonna need for my trip. I have a variety of fabrics, so I'm bringing my entire needle organizer, which is another reason why I really, really love this organizer because it does travel so well. It is made of hard plastic and it has a slot for every single needle you can possibly imagine having in your stash. It lays super flat. I mean, it's basically like packing nothing. I also have all of my sewing pins. You can't uh, go far without your sewing pins. In this little pencil case, and again, all of these materials are things that I had on hand. I didn't have to go out and buy anything um, to pack this up. So just find little uh, storage boxes and whatever you have laying around. But I've got my seam ripper. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but it's here just in case. I've got a rotary cutter, regular scissors, a hem gauge, some marking tools, and a measuring tape, all packed away in here, nice and organized. And then at the bottom of here, this might seem like overkill, but this is all of the sewing feet that I have. And I'm bringing everything because I'm not really sure what I'm going to run into with these projects. One of them um, involves piping, so I know I'll need a piping foot. I like to switch out my feet a lot, um, even whenever I'm just doing straight stitches. Depending on what kind of straight stitch I'm doing, I'll use a different foot. So I just thought that I would bring all of them um, just in case so I wouldn't be without. I mean, maybe I'll need a walking foot. Um, I won't need my zipper foot, but... You never know. I just want to be prepared and I don't want to attempt to do something and then not have the right foot for it and then feel like the quality of the stitch I did was lesser because I didn't have these. This little box is so compact. Um, it does get a little heavy, but not too bad, especially when you're rolling it around in a cart. Um, this I got, the container I got from, um, I want to say like Hobby Lobby in like the jewelry organizing section. It's really great. I love it. And then I just um, labeled all of the feet that I have and it fits perfectly into this little box here along with this guy and my pins. This guy goes in there too. And then all of that 
it boxed up like so and placed in the suitcase. I do have a couple of extras. I'm bringing my entire bobbin um, carrier with some blank empty bobbins in there as well. Again, it's just small and easy enough and compact enough to travel with and it really does keep the threads from unwinding. So I don't want to take the bobbins out and risk having them com uh, come completely unwound as I'm traveling. So I'll just tuck that in somewhere. And then this guy here has some other notions um, that I posted. If you saw my favorites video, these are for pressing. Um, probably don't need Velcro, but um, if I'm going to do any hem uh, or blind hems or any kind of hand sewing, I have my um, thimble. I've got wonder clips. I've got backup rotary blades. You know, just those kinds of things that you're, you might need. I've got even more bobbins, empty bobbins. Um, just kind of like a random collection of stuff. This thing usually just sits on my um, sewing table anyway, so it's easy enough just to tuck it in and pack it away. So there you have it. I have everything all packed away into this one suitcase, all my projects, everything I need to make those projects, except for one thing that you're probably asking yourself, what about your sewing machine? So I've got a little plan for that as well. I'm bringing my sewing machine and also my serger just so that I can get professional finish and don't have to do any workarounds. I can just sew things like I would at home. So let me show you how I'm going to pack up my machines. <laughs> okay, so I've got my serger here on the floor. You can see I've got just a plain Tupperware bin. This is a quilt that I made that I actually need to take pictures of. So I thought that I would go ahead and bring it with me and actually it serves as a great little like protector because my serger does not have a case. So I'm just going to set this in here somewhat gently and flat. Flat is important. Like so and then use the quilt as like a buffer for it. And then my sewing machine does come with a case. Gosh these things are heavy. Like this. So it has its own case and then that goes in the bin as well. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's not cute. But, um, and then there's these bungee cords that come with this little, like, um, here, I'll show you, that come with this, like, luggage carrier thing. I use this all the time to, like, get my groceries in and stuff like that. So, um, you have the bin on top of here, and then you just hook these bungee things onto this little guy here, and it keeps it all in place. And then I actually just pick up the entire thing carrier and all and put that in my car and then it goes there and then goes into the house we're staying in and then then I'll take it off of the rolly thing and um put this away for the weekend and then we are ready to go okay so there you have it here is all my sewing stuff for our trip I have my um by Annie um, take a stand tote with all of my clothes and toiletries and all of that. So I'm able to head off to a four day sewing retreat with these two things and one little tote bag. So not too bad for someone who prides themselves on packing light. I feel like I might have nailed it. <laughs> so hopefully this will inspire you to take some trips with your girlfriends, go on a sewing retreat pack up your sewing stuff and get a new perspective and a new creative space and have some fun and make some memories. Um, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.